Hey guys, I'm back home in sunny Des Moines, Washington, and uh, just kind of hanging out here and working on the next episode, enjoying a uh, tasty beverage. Had a couple of people ask what the reference to Zombieland was all about, and um, decided I really don't want to get political with this series, but I will say that the homelessness issue in Northern California is just completely out of control. Um, my motel in Eureka just happened to be across the street from a pretty large building that was the sheriff's headquarters for that area and droves of homeless literally sitting on the sidewalk there uh, conducting intravenous drug use and defecating on the streets and the police officers that were stopping their cars in front of the building going in and out just doing this whole officer Bar Brady thing where they're just like I see nothing wrong here Carry on! Um, just, I, I couldn't understand it. I wanted to do some filming in that area, but I literally could not find a camera angle that did not show just the misery of humanity. Uh, people stepping over bodies as if they were speed bumps, and the homeless themselves walking around with these, like, glassy looks in their eyes, and just completely not noticing the world around them, as in, like, the whole, I see dead people. I see dead people. Dead people like in graves and coffins? Walking around like regular people. They don't see each other. They only see what they want to see. They don't know they're dead. I was initially planning to do a couple of days in San Francisco and do an episode on Silicon Valley and kind of the Bay Area, but you know, after staying the night there, I decided that there was just no way to make that episode honest, and at the same time, I didn't really have any interest in filming it the way it was. So I left the area, um, rode down the hill, went to PCH, and for those of you who live in that area, I really don't know what you guys are thinking, but clearly whatever is being done is not working. So, um, yeah, it's your tourist dollars. But before I could continue on my journey, I was forced to visit the local Home Depot. Hey guys, so let me show you the reality of the problem here. Looks like a few of the potholes that I took on that ride yesterday uh, didn't do good things to my luggage system. Um, and I kind of noticed an issue yesterday. Here is my temporary fix. From Seattle. Oh, really? but, yeah. Hmm. Taking the coastal road. Oh, there you go. So. I used to have a BSA 650. What is that? British Strong Arms. Oh, I can't. I never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, bikes are great. Wow. This thing's a monster. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a fun toy. Okay. But I've uh, got a little problem with uh, my luggage system. Took a couple of potholes yesterday. I'm gonna try to fix that now. Hmm. Just completely ripped both of these bolts out. Hmm. So, in short, what had happened was that some of the larger potholes in the Humboldt Strait Forest did a little bit of damage to my luggage system. The rearmost top bolts on both sides got completely ripped out, and although they were still providing vertical and lateral support, I needed to use the cargo strap to keep them attached to the system. The fastener selection at this Home Depot is just atrocious. Given that I was threading into aluminum, a grade 8 bolt would have cut its own thread, but the only button head bolts that they had, and anything larger than a quarter inch, were all stainless steel, which has the hardness of cheese. I was faced with the fact that I would need to drill a larger hole and tap a new thread, and I did not have a drill with me. The dude who came up to look at my bike offered me to use his drill, but unfortunately it was at a job site about 15 minutes away. I opted out to go talk to the store manager at the Home Depot and see if they would let me use their tools. It took a chain of command of six different people in order for them to let me borrow a drill for five minutes, and I had to be chaperoned. The guy that came out with me to take a look at what I was going to be doing could not believe that I was about to drill and tap a hole in their parking lot. 
Camera gear makes people feel awkward, so I decided to not film the repair, but suffice it to say that it held perfectly fine, and later on in the series you guys will see some other potholes that I inadvertently hit, and everything held together perfectly fine after this. In hindsight, I should have used larger diameter fasteners, or I should have doubled up the plate from an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch thickness, given how much weight I was carrying. It is interesting that the same exact bolt failed on both sides, so that's telling me that there was some sort of a structural problem with my design, but hey, I'm not an engineer. After all that, heading out of Dealey City and into Pacifica was almost a religious experience. You come around this big bend and all of a sudden just BAM! Straight in your face is the ocean, the sunlight, and it's like you've been transplanted to a whole other place. It was amazing. starts after Seaside, California. A narrow road twists and winds its way through the cliff sides, offering panoramic views of the ocean, with frequent pull-offs to take photos. When I was here last October, it was beautiful and sunny, with hardly anybody else to share the road with. This time around, that was not the case. The road was flooded with tourists, and we kept being chased by fog, and, and I'm gonna say it now, once again, rain. I will say though that on the aggregate it was a very enjoyable ride and I would highly recommend it. And it was then, right after filling up with the most expensive gasoline of my life, that it happened. The crash. The paramedics and first responders arrived amazingly fast. The helicopter was on the scene before I knew it and ended up flying me straight, straight in a straight line all the way to the hospital. No guys, I did not wreck my bike. But what did crash was the Relive app, which was supposed to be tracking the best part of the entire frickin' trip. And it crashed right when I took the photo of that gas pump. <laughs> 